Hi guys, welcome to Android Galaxy Development. This is Praveen Vishwakarma. Today I'm going to show how to install Nexus Me version 5 on Samsung Galaxy Y GTS 5360. Uh, all you need is you have to download the files given in the description and you should be in the stock room and you have to before installing your device should be charged minimum 80 percent. So let's go through the procedure. First of all, power up your device. And now you have to go to the recovery mode. That's uh, uh, for that you have to press your power button, volume up button, and home button together. That is simultaneously. Press it together. After the uh, once the Samsung Galaxy Y logo comes, you can leave the button. And now you can see you are on the recovery mode. The touch is disabled over here. For that you have to scroll up and down with your volume up and volume down button. Select with your home button and come back with your uh, using your uh, power button. So now you have to select apply update from SD card and you have to select the first file which is uh, cwm.zip. Select that file and now you can see you are now on clockwork recovery mode. Uh, here also the situation is same. You have to scroll up and down with your volume up and volume down button. Uh, select with power button and come back with uh, power button. And now uh, you have to uh, go to the second last option which is mount and storage and you have to mount the first four. You can see the written one unmount is mounted. So which is written mount that are not mounted. So say click on the mount 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 one. So if you see mount anyway you just click it out so once it will get unmounted. So if you see if all are unmount, it's safe. You are mounted though. You are mounted them successfully. Come back using your power button, and now you have to uh, you have to flash the uh, kernel which I have given the file. Download it and keep it outside the um, outside the SD card so that it will be easy to find. So I locate the file now. See the uh, it is Cyanogen mode hash two which is this one, select that one and select yes. It's getting installed. Once the kernel is uh, installed, just wait for some minutes and press your power button to come back. It takes a while to come back. It's come back and now you have to select the last option advance and you have to see uh, look at the first option it's reboot recovery select the first option reboot recovery it, it reboots your uh, phone and get back to you in the recovery mode. Now it's coming to the recovery mode. Now from here you have to do all, everything fast. And now you can see you are on the CWM based recovery. Now go to the second last option which is uh, mount and storage. And uh, you have to format the some cases. That is format the data first. Select yes. Then format the uh, cache. Then format the system. There is no need to format the SD card. And now come back. The, there is a special button go back and go back and once again go to mount and storage and mount the first four that is mount data mount system and then at the last mount SD card then again come back and it is the time to flash the main file which is the ROM file install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and locate the file which is Nexus Fit version 0.1 CM7 young it is based on CM7 Select yes. And now it's getting installed. Please wait until it gets installed. It's installing the update. The procedures are quite confusing. Please do uh, do it properly so that you can avoid the cases like uh, boot loop and some small features missing. So do it properly. You can see install from SD card is completed. Select the go back button. 
and now it's uh, now you have to do is uh, select the third option wipe data factory widget and select yes once after data wipe completed you can reboot the system select the rebooting reboot system once now and now you can see it is getting rebooted now now the case is the booting also takes some time so please don't panic just uh, keep patience and wait until the phone boots successfully if you see samsung galaxy y young um, this logo for more than five to ten minutes you can just uh, put on pressing go on pressing on your power button for more than eight seconds until the black screen comes and you can leave it this may um, avoid getting you into the boot loop. You can see it's a good boot animation. It has it is booting right now. Normally, it didn't take much time. It has got a new boot animation of Google, which is and the Nexus devices. It's getting booted. boot animation may show for us some time because as it is the first boot it will take some time to uh, get back get into the main page to load the room i will show you the quick review of the same the room is quite good it takes a while to come into the home page yeah, it's vibrated. That means uh, you have it's going to come into the main page now. It's getting booted. Yeah, you can see it. Just wait until the media scanning get completed, so that uh, we can. Uh, I will. I will show you the review very quickly and easily. I'll just. You can see in the power menu you we have this many. These many options power up, reboot. For reboot, we have reboot recovery, download, and reboot. And you can see power off is there, screenshot. You can select your profiles, airplane mode. Now we are going to put in airplane mode. And you can see the it is a quite a transparent uh, notification bar. And uh, we have got the jelly bean one. And so you can uh, reduce and Increase and decrease your brightness down here is sixty four percent charge, and you can see you can here you can put your profile and there are only four uh two girls that i say I said you before that this room is based on c m seven that is cyanogen mode seven, and here we have the menu it's uh, not that style it's uh, supported with the holo launcher. Calculator, calendar, camera, Chrome is given, but it's not Chrome. Uh, music, the widgets are changed, and uh, even the music app is changed, which is supported with the CM7 type. And you can see videos are also had. There are videos are in the other menu. Spare parts. I'll show you my. will show you the settings at a glance. Here is here is the setting. About phone. Here we have given that Nexus Optimus Nexus Me version 4.3 Android, but it's not originally 4.3. It's Android version 2.3.7. Here it is, but it is showing 4.3 by Team Nexus. You can see the um, kernel is changed, which is uh, supported by Cyanogen mode. Cyanogen mode. And you can see you can even change the type of the lock screens. There are many types of uh, lock screens available. You can see here. That's cool. You can choose the background lock screen gesture, gestures, widget options. Many of them you have to provide. Here is the launcher, launcher setting. Uh, that's quite good. Um, up till now there is no any good, no any bugs. Found. Here it is, the keypad. It's quite small, but easy to type it. All log contacts. Yeah. 
it's all the same gallery has got a small problem you have to replace the application it will be added into the description about that it's a recent uh, favorite that's all with this room try it out and let me know your experiences until now for the next week until now it's uh, Pravin Vishwakarma signing up. Thank you for watching the video and uh, try out the room and let me know your experiences. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe the video, like and comment if you have any problem. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.